And for today's webinar, I'm very pleased to be joined uh, by our presenters, uh, Gail Penier, Director uh, of Client Insights for our European customers, along with Jesse Collins, a member of our Omnichannel Analyst Content Team. Um, Gail has a market research background built in NPD, consumer electronics retail landscape, uh, outline some recent retail initiatives and sort of what they mean for brands operating in the sector. Uh, I'll then hand it over to my colleague, Gail, who will give some guidance on what brands can be doing now to ensure that they are sort of best positioned to not only shield themselves from, but capitalize on you know, this rapidly evolving industry. Uh, so it's first and foremost, relative to most other categories, the consumer electronics category is and will continue to be disproportionately impacted by e-commerce. It's demonstrating an estimated 31% share of total US category sales online and uh, an estimated 12% compound annual growth rate through 2023. Uh, however, you know, it's also, it's pretty common knowledge, but it's suffered a lot from showrooming this category. So it's why retailer and brand strategies involve a strong combination of online and in-store. Uh, and, and, you know, that will, that will continue to to, to be a, a major, major theme uh, going forward. So you can go to the next slide, Rob. So to, to, to sort of take a step back, um, you know, the retail landscape is undergoing significant change, um, not, not, not news, but you know, retailer and sector growth will be really dependent on an ability to adapt to the a, a accelerating, increasingly changing environment. Uh, the future landscape will be disrupted by societal, technological, economic, industrial, and political drivers, uh, creating opportunities and challenges for the consumer electronics sector. With these changes, retailers and brands must prepare for a future scenario that sees you know, stores transforming into social and experiential hubs, uh, expansive digital ecosystems fostering loyalty and uh, faster and more flexible fulfillment options and uh, a much, much greater personalization. Uh, brands will require new strategies to win in this environment. And so the following uh, recent sort of re retailer initiatives highlight how retailers are adapting to these winning strategies and uh, therefore it's giving some insight into what suppliers must focus on. You know, the next slide. Next, yeah. So to demonstrate sort of how you know, retailers are creating a more seamless omnichannel shopping experience, uh, just turning to a recent Amazon initiative. Uh, Amazon opened virtual reality kiosk in, in 10 shopping malls in India to promote its Prime Day event. Yeah, after you know, putting on an Oculus Rift headset, uh, shoppers could walk through rooms that reflect Amazon store sections, um, including kitchen and dining, health and beauty and living room, and then can handle any product in full you know, 3D. And so through the VR experience, shoppers could experiment with a number of the brands and promotions that Amazon uh, was featuring during Prime Day. And shoppers were seen exam examining consumer electronics, uh, such as smartphones and et cetera, from, from all angles, viewing household appliances in the home setting, et cetera. And so smaller stores and you know, the growth of e-commerce will, will give rise to, to more solutions that, that focus on bringing products to life. Um, but through a digital lens, uh, and it's particularly suitable for bulkier and higher ticket items, such as consumer electronics, where that, that visualization is, is so key. Um, technologies like augmented and virtual reality are, are, are still relatively gimmicky in so many different categories, but for appliances and CE, you know, they will actually they'll benefit a lot from the, uh, these, these technologies as, as shoppers visualize and uh, as a you know, testing tool that will help retailers reduce inventory. So brands will have to Definitely keep an eye out on, on this. It will require um, creating a lot of digital content to effectively complement these initiatives or even launching their own sort of direct to consumer initiatives where they have their own applications. Um, 
And so turning to the next slide, you can see Suning just giving us a little glimpse into recent sort of store-based developments in China. And uh, so Suning is, is, has rolled out five uh, unmanned BU stores. And so thanks to RFID technology, products can just be carried along a, a payment pathway, um, resulting in easy sort of 15 second checkout experience. And, uh, and it also features this smart recommendation system, which, which offers product guidance uh, based on digital screens, automatically bring up product information when an item is, is picked up from the shelf. And so this sort of uh, the smart technology will be crucial in providing shoppers with the, the personalization and immediacy that they, that they seek. And um, aside from convenience, you know, the new generation of shoppers is particularly drawn to this innovation and more aspirational lifestyles. So, uh, Retailers who lead in these developments will, will quickly outpace others, and it will be crucial for, for suppliers to be partnering with, with these, uh, those more long-term success. We'll be seeing a lot more of this type of technology. And to the next slide. Um, to highlight some of the, just the ways retailers and brands are expanding their e-commerce e and digital ecosystems, just wanted to quickly look at one of Best Buy's recent initiatives. Um, Shoppers with an Alexa-enabled device are now able to get exclusive offers from Best Buy using voice. Uh, the offers won't necessarily be available in stores or on bestbuy.com, so that's you know, really encouraging shoppers to connect through the Best Buy uh, voice skill, um, which is really essential for getting you know, shoppers just involved and familiar with the platform and, and to really understand the, the value proposition, because it's, it, it's without that, it's, a lot of shoppers just think, again, it's this sort of gimmicky, shiny object that they're, they're all sort of waiting to put who's going to put the foot um, forward first. So this just forces that, that familiarity. That's so essential. And so the development sort of highlights these changing paths to purchase uh, in now emerging within the CE sector and the need for strategies to support. And as voice grows in popularity, suppliers will need to ensure products rank highly in voice-enabled search results. Um, which is highly dependent on regular online SEO. So that's a, that's a key connection there. Um, and then moving to the next slide. Yeah, another example sort of includes Walmart's recent home installation services. It's now offering its online customers the option to purchase in-home installation and assembly services for furniture and electronics. Uh, customers can just book an appointment while placing an order online or in-store. And so consumers are increasingly demanding these added value services from retailers, particularly in higher ticket spend categories. And uh, these moves help, you know, this Walmart expand its value proposition and compete with others who offer this you know, home installation, such as Best Buy's Geek Squad. And so CE suppliers should be ready for the opportunity to launch extended warranty and service packages for electronic products as uh, Walmart or other retailers extend their, their suite of you know, after-sales solutions. And then next slide. Just looking again, um, Back, but at Suning and Walmart, we'll also see some supply chain fulfillment initiatives that aim to improve the operational costs and increase automation. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot of this, this stuff across the retail industry, but also now in Siva in particular. Uh, Suning has announced a new instant delivery solution as part of its latest development plans. Uh, the service will provide a 30 minute home delivery for customers within a, a three kilometer radius. And so the the, uh, the growth of e-commerce, growing consumer expectations, tech advancements, they're really forcing retailers and manufacturers in the sector to elevate their delivery options, which obviously can be difficult because it's the, uh, the cost of delivering uh, bulkier items, you know, can have challenging economics, but it's getting increasingly, it's actually, it's getting essential. And so now we're just really seeing how retailers making that happen. Um, and so China in particular, is a real test bed for this seamless fulfillment and due to its progressive outlook on, on utilizing innovative technologies. And so uh, Suning is they're seeking brands to partner with on this new service. And so as Suning and other retailers focus on these types of rapid fulfillment, electronic suppliers really need to identify which products would be best suited to the service, uh, focus on the implications of packaging. And so obviously frequently purchased impulse items um, such as electronic accessories would of course be the the best or the easiest first sort of relevant options as, as the technologies all develop. And so moving to the next slide. Hey, Jesse, uh, it looks like there might be a little bit of an audio uh, connection issue. Can, 
Can you hear us? Okay, well, uh, uh, Gail, you're, uh, you're uh, on the line, right? Yes, I am. Okay, well, why don't we move to, uh, to your section here and uh, we'll okay, just see. Uh, so we will move to in-store to e-commerce. Yep. Um, actually, I will talk about two things today. First, uh, our consulting approach around e-commerce on how to help your brands to win on the, in the online stores. And I will then have a brief section about guidelines on how to organize your teams to win on this, uh, in, on this area. Um, so my team and consultant and I are actually helping, our mission is actually to help brands to win on e-commerce. And for that, we have a 6P framework which actually applies uh, across all our solutions, so Clavis, OCR, on BrandView. Let's move to the next slide to go into details of what it is. Yes, thank you very much. So I guess you are all familiar with the offline four Ps, presence, placement, price, promotion. Let's see the details. There are some sophisticated animation in this slide. If you could click, yes. Uh, and if we go, so yes, yeah, thank you. So the four Ps offline are still reflected online. Presence is very similar. We talk about assortment, availability. We have to make sure that the products are available to the shoppers. One thing which is additional is, of course, the marketplace. Uh, how you are, have you the buy box on Amazon? So this is also a slight different approach that you have to have. Where you have a real big difference is, of course, placement, because you go from offline a two-dimensional presentation of your items in a planogram with facings to a one-dimensional uh, presentation through the menu or the search. So here you have slightly different ways of working, but one more time, what is really important is your visibility. I'm not going to develop price on promo. Let's go to the next one, the fifth P. <clears throat> here we are. It's at what we call the perfect page. Offline, this would be actually what we call packaging, but online, the control of this content is actually in the retailer side because you have to put all your contents on the retailers. And it's definitely a key P that we'll develop afterwards. And it contains content, image, but also the, con the content that you can control on, uh, with the help of the retailers, but also ratings and reviews, which are the content generated by the customers. And let's now go to the 6P, which is performance, sales and traffic, nothing new, except that actually, as you will see, online offers the possibility to track much more frequently and accurately this type of metrics. And also the presence of something which is new, which is the search algorithm. So let's, see, let's go to the next page to see what we mean by that. Uh, in the four P's before, we were able actually to work, have specialists on each of these levers who could work actually relatively independently on that, with, with of course with a strategy to lay us that. But what happened actually in the new world of e-commerce, and particularly in uh, uh, retailers who are driven by algorithms, Amazon being the uh, most famous, but many others have actually their type of algorithms. Uh, let's click on the slide to see the animation. Magnificent arrows, you can see that actually there are many links between the six P's. So this means that now we cannot work anymore on one single only. The, the most famous example being the content. Content has to be SEO optimized if you want to rank properly on a search. So definitely there are much more links, which is also a um, a challenge in terms of organization because your teams have to be much more synced. Let's go to the next page. Yes, so now I'm not going to go into detail of each of the P's, but I thought that some would be interested to dig in. And I will start with performance. Let's go to the next slide. So performance, it's of course, uh, the, the, the main KPI actually to measure performance is traffic. And this is an inform, uh, sorry, sales. And this is of course a KPI which is uh, 
easy to have for you because you can have your sales. And we know that today, um, Jesse mentioned that before, uh, they, have, they are benefiting for a, from a great uh, growth in e-commerce. However, the question is, how is your growth? Are you growing, even if you are growing fast, are you growing faster than competition? And this is a key question to really measure what is your performance. And this is what our OCR tool enables to have, is that based on your sales, actually many information they have on the category, they will be able to tell you how you perform VS competition in terms of share of sales and in terms of evolution. So you will be able to evaluate uh, clearly what is, your, uh, what is your performance and relatively if you are uh, performing on your market. I mentioned traffic, traffic and conversions are also information that we provide and enables to understand where your uh, evolution comes from, from more people or from people buying more. Let's go to the next slide. Now I would like to talk about two other metrics that I consider as really important for consumer electronics. Um, Jesse started to mention the WOPO effect and the fact that many people would connect online and then purchase offline or also sometimes showroom or use the showroom offline on order online so there are many uh, links between the channels and so definitely the perfect page the content will be very important and the visibility as well so let's go on these two search you have probably seen uh, this type of insight several times we know how search is important because many customers uh, actually uh, click on the first items that they see on the search rank. We could say that eventually on some higher price products in consumer electronics, you have maybe a little more people going a little bit beyond the first page. But however, a high visibility systematically drives sales. Let's now see content. Content has actually, so normally we say that content drives conversion, and it's true, but actually it drives several things. First, it enables to abide to legal environment, it depends on the category, but it's always important to have all the fields, all the required fields uh, properly filled in. It enables to boost conversion. The more you will have a perfect page well presented, the more it will actually uh, give to the customers the will to, to purchase. But it also, through the algorithm of the retailers, enable to optimize your search visibility. And you can have the best sales in the world if you don't have a search, uh, a content which is search optimized, you uh, won't have an optimal uh, visibility on the, uh, on the retailer side. And the last one is that also wrong content or let's say inaccurate content drives wrong reviews once again lower conversion on, on visibility so once again content has actually multiple effects and is really key and if we just click one more time conversion on search will actually also enable you not only to drive sales online but also offline with the famous ropo effect Let's now go to the next slide. So how does it work? How would we recommend to work on it? And how do we work actually with our, our uh, clients? First, we need to understand the search algorithm of the retailers. This is not something which is obvious. Well, Amazon is, the Amazon uh, search algorithm is relatively known, but many retailers will have actually uh, several criteria and it would be really important to understand it, to know where you have to particularly improve your content. The second one is to make a short priority list of your search terms. Which are the search terms which are really important for you to win? If you make some surveys, shopper surveys, uh, or input from retailers, you will have a very long list of items, actually, where you can, uh, where you can, that can be interesting for you. However, there are few of them on which we'll be able, you have a limited possibility to take actions. So we really recommend to focus on a limited uh, list of search terms that are really important for you, that really corresponds to your product. A very generic search term, it's almost impossible to rank first, so you have to 
really use search terms which are uh, using the shopper vocabulary and being close to description of your product. And uh, definitely from this, uh, focus on this list. Answer that your content uh, is optimized to rank on these search terms. And then, of course, at the same time, answer that, answer that the content is optimized for conversion. What it means is that the point is not to have a product list, uh, a product title which is uh, endless because it, it still has to be uh, understood by the customer. So you need to have a uh, actually a, uh, a, a, pr a product title that makes sense to the shopper and is optimized. And last but not least, what will be really important is to track your progresses. And this is where actually uh, the Clavis solution will help you on this, because it will help you actually on tracking both your search on rank and content of compliance. Let's move to the next slide to see the search rank. So here you have a list of retailers and a list of product, uh, search terms on the left side, and you can see fully known. But many retailers will have actually uh, several criteria and it would be really important to understand it to know where you have to particularly improve your content. The second one is to make a short priority list of your search terms. Which are the search terms which are really important for you to win? If you make some surveys, shopper surveys uh, or uh, input from retailers, you will have a very long list of items actually where you can uh, where you can, that can be interesting for you. However, there are few of them on which we'll be able, you have a limited possibility to take actions. So we really recommend to focus on a limited uh, list of search terms that are really important for you, that really corresponds to your product. A very generic search term, it's almost impossible to rank first, so you have to really use search terms which are uh, using the shopper vocabulary and being close to description of your product. And uh, definitely from this, uh, focus on this list. Answer that your content uh, is optimized to rank on these search terms. And then, of course, at the same time, answer that, answer that the content is optimized for conversion. What it means is that the point is not to have a product list, uh, a product title which is uh, endless because it, it still has to be uh, understood by the customer. So you need to have a, uh, actually a, uh, a, a, pr a product title that makes sense to the shopper and is optimized. And last but not least, what will be really important is to track your progresses. And this is where actually uh, the Clavis solution will help you on this, because it will help you actually on tracking both your search on rank and content of compliance. Let's move to the next slide to see the search rank. So here you have a list of retailers and a list of Product, uh, search terms on the left side, and you can see fully known. But many retailers will have actually uh, several criteria, and it will be really important to understand it to know where you have to particularly improve your content. The second one is to make a short priority list of your search terms. Which are the search terms which are really important for you to win? If you make some surveys, shopper surveys, uh, or uh, input from retailers, you will have a very long list of items actually where you can, uh, where you can, that can be interesting for you. However, there are few of them on which we'll be able, you have a limited possibility to take actions. So we really recommend to focus on a limited uh, list of search terms that are really important for you, that really corresponds to your product. A very generic search term, it's almost impossible to rank first, so you have to really use search terms which are uh, using the shopper vocabulary and being close to description of your product. And uh, definitely from this, uh, focus on this list. Answer that your content uh, is optimized to rank on these search terms. And then, of course, at the same time, answer that, answer that the content is optimized for conversion. What it means is that the point is not to have a product list, uh, a product title which is uh, endless because it, it still has to be uh, understood by the customer. So you need to have a uh, actually a, uh, a, a, pr a product title that makes sense to the shopper and is optimized. 
And last but not least, what will be really important is to track your progresses. And this is where actually uh, the Clavis solution will help you on this, because it will help you actually on tracking both your search on rank and content of compliance. Let's move to the next slide to see the search rank. So here you have a list of retailers and a list of product, uh, search terms on the left side, and you can see fully known. But many retailers will have actually uh, several criteria, and it will be really important to understand it, to know where you have to particularly improve your content. The second one is to make a short priority list of your search terms, which are the search terms which are really important for you to win. If you make some surveys, shopper surveys, uh, or input from retailers, you will have a very long list of items, actually, where you can, uh, where you can, that can be interesting for you. However, there are few of them on which we'll be able, you have a limited possibility to take actions. So we really recommend to focus on a limited uh, list of search terms that are really important for you, that really corresponds to your product. A very generic search term, it's almost impossible to rank first, so you have to really use search terms which are uh, using the shopper vocabulary and being close to the description of your product. And uh, definitely from this, uh, focus on this list. Answer that your content uh, is optimized to rank on these search terms. And then, of course, at the same time, answer that, answer that the content is optimized for conversion. What it means is that the point is not to have a product list, uh, a product title which is uh, endless because it still has to be uh, understood by the customer. So you need to have a uh, actually a, uh, a, a, pr a product title that makes sense to the shopper and is optimized. And last but not least, what will be really important is to track your progresses. And this is where actually uh, the Clavis solution will help you on this, because it will help you actually on tracking both your search on rank and content of compliance. Let's move to the next slide to see the search rank. So here you have a list of retailers and a list of product, uh, search terms on the left side, and you can see fully known. But many retailers will have actually uh, several criteria, and it will be really important to understand it, to know where you have to particularly improve your content. The second one is to make a short priority list of your search terms, which are the search terms which are really important for you to win. If you make some surveys, shopper surveys, uh, or uh, input from retailers, you will have a very long list of items, actually, where you can uh, where you can, that can be interesting for you. However, there are few of them on which we'll be able, you have a limited possibility to take actions. So we really recommend to focus on a limited uh, list of search terms that are really important for you, that really corresponds to your product. A very generic search term, it's almost impossible to rank first, so you have to really use search terms which are uh, using the shopper vocabulary and being close to the description of your product. And uh, definitely from this, uh, focus on this list. Answer that your content uh, is optimized to rank on these search terms. And then, of course, at the same time, answer that, answer that the content is optimized for conversion. What it means is that the point is not to have a product list, uh, a product title which is uh, endless because it, it still has to be uh, understood by the customer. So you need to have a, uh, actually a, uh, a, a, pr a product title that makes sense to the shopper and is optimized. And last but not least, what will be really important is to track your progresses. And this is where actually uh, the Clavis solution will help you on this, because it will help you actually on tracking both your search on rank and content of compliance. Let's move to the next slide to see the search rank. So here you have a list of retailers and a list of Product, uh, search terms on the left side, and you can see fully known. But many retailers will have actually uh, several criteria, and it will be really important to understand it, to know where you have to particularly improve your content. 
The second one is to make a short priority list of your search terms. Which are the search terms which are really important for you to win? If you make some surveys, shopper surveys, uh, or input from retailers, you will have a very long list of items actually where you can uh, where you can that can be interesting for you. However, there are few of them on which we'll be able. You have a limited possibility to take actions, so we really recommend to focus on a limited. A uh, list of search terms that are really important for you that really corresponds to your product. A very generic search term, it's almost impossible to rank first, so you have to really use search terms which are uh, using the shopper vocabulary and being close to the description of your product. And uh, definitely from this, uh, focus on this list. Answer that your content uh, is optimized to rank on these search terms. And then, of course, at the same time, answer that, ensure that the content is optimized for conversion. What it means is that the point is not to have a product list, uh, a product title which is uh, endless because it still has to be uh, understood by the customer. So you need to have a uh, actually a, uh, a, a, pr a product title that makes sense to the shopper and is optimized. And last but not least, what will be really important is to track your progresses. And this is where actually uh, the Clavis solution will help you on this, because it will help you actually on tracking both your search on rank and content of compliance. Let's move to the next slide to see the search rank. So here you have a list of retailers and a list of product, uh, search terms on the left side, and you can see fully known, but many retailers will have actually uh, several criteria and it would be really important to understand it to know where you have to particularly improve your content. The second one is to make a short priority list of your search terms. Which are the search terms which are really important for you to win? If you make some surveys, shopper surveys uh, or input from retailers, you will have a very long list of items actually where you can uh, where you can, that can be interesting for you. However, there are few of them on which we'll be able, you have a limited possibility to take actions. So we really recommend to focus on a limited uh, list of search terms that are really important for you, that really corresponds to your product. A very generic search term, it's almost impossible to rank first, so you have to really use search terms which are uh, using the shopper vocabulary and being close to the description of your product. And uh, definitely from this, uh, focus on this list. Answer that your content uh, is optimized to rank on these search terms. And then, of course, at the same time, answer that, answer that the content is optimized for conversion. What it means is that the point is not to have a product list, uh, a product title which is uh, endless because it still has to be uh, understood by the customer. So you need to have a uh, actually a, uh, a, a, pr a product title that makes sense to the shopper and is optimized. And last but not least, what will be really important is to track your progresses. And this is where actually uh, the Clavis solution will help you on this, because it will help you actually on tracking both your search on rank and content of compliance. Let's move to the next slide to see the search rank. So here you have a list of retailers and a list of uh, search terms on the left side, and you can see fully known, but many retailers will have actually uh, several criteria, and it would be really important to understand it, to know where you have to particularly improve your content. The second one is to make a short priority list of your search terms. Which are the search terms which are really important for you to win? If you make some surveys, shopper surveys, uh, or uh, input from retailers, you will have a very long list of items actually where you can uh, where you can that can be interesting for you. However, there are few of them on which we'll be able. You have a limited possibility to take actions, so we really recommend to focus on a limited uh, list of search terms that are really important for you, that really corresponds to your product. A very generic search term, it's almost impossible to rank first, so you have to really use search terms which are 
uh, using the shopper vocabulary and being close to description of your product. And uh, definitely from this, uh, focus on this list. Answer that your content uh, is optimized to rank on these search terms. And then, of course, at the same time, answer that, answer that the content is optimized for conversion. What it means is that the point is not to have a product list, uh, a product title which is uh, endless because it, it still has to be uh, understood by the customer. So you need to have a uh, actually a, uh, a, a, pro a product title that makes sense to the shopper and is optimized. And last but not least, what will be really important is to track your progresses. And this is where actually uh, the Clavis solution will help you on this, because it will help you actually on tracking both your search on rank and content compliance. Let's move to the next slide to see the search rank. So here you have a list of retailers and a list of product, uh, search terms on the left side, and you can see fully known, but many retailers will have actually uh, several criteria and it would be really important to understand it to know where you have to particularly improve your content the second one is to make a short priority list of your search terms which are the search terms which are really important for you to win if you make some surveys shopper surveys uh, or uh, input from retailers you will have a very long list of items actually where you can uh, where you can, that can be interesting for you. However, there are few of them on which we'll be able, you have a limited possibility to take actions. So we really recommend to focus on a limited uh, list of search terms that are really important for you, that really corresponds to your product. A very generic search term, it's almost impossible to rank first, so you have to really use search terms which are uh, using the shopper vocabulary and being close to description of your product. And uh, definitely from this, uh, focus on this list. Answer that your content uh, is optimized to rank on these search terms. And then, of course, at the same time, answer that, answer that the content is optimized for conversion. What it means is that the point is not to have a product list, uh, a product title which is uh, endless because it, it still has to be uh, understood by the customer. So you need to have a, uh, actually a, uh, a, a, pro a product title that makes sense to the shopper and is optimized. And last but not least, what will be really important is to track your progresses. And this is where actually uh, the Clavis solution will help you on this, because it will help you actually on tracking both your search on rank and content of compliance. Let's move to the next slide to see the search rank. So here you have a list of retailers and a list of Product, uh, search terms on the left side, and you can see fully known, but many retailers will have actually uh, several criteria and it would be really important to understand it to know where you have to particularly improve your content the second one is to make a short priority list of your search terms which are the search terms which are really important for you to win if you make some surveys shopper surveys uh, or uh, input from retailers you will have a very long list of items actually where you can uh, where you can, that can be interesting for you. However, there are few of them on which which will be able, you have a limited possibility to take actions. So we really recommend to focus on a limited uh, list of search terms that are really important for you, that really corresponds to your product. A very generic search term, it's almost impossible to rank first, so you have to really use search terms which are uh, using the shopper vocabulary and being close to description of your product. And uh, definitely from this, uh, focus on this list. Answer that your content uh, is optimized to rank on these search terms. 
and then of course at the same time answer that ensure that the content is optimized for conversion what it means is that the point is not to have a product list uh, a product title which is uh, endless because it, it still has to be uh, understood by the customer so you need to have a uh, actually a, uh, a a product title that makes sense to the shopper and is optimized and last but not least what will be really important is to track your progresses and this is where actually uh, the clavis solution will help you on this because it will help you actually on tracking both your search on rank and content accompaniment let's move to the next slide to see the search rank so here you have a list 